why if, if you are in my church you can't read anybody's book it is only my book is it your church did you die for them one time a man of God said that yes you know you call offering and sir what a dangerous error when light has become darkness and such people speak with conviction because to them is light for today we are eternally grateful for today by you we have the confidence of life that no matter what the expectation of the righteous shall not be cut off for in you is that light that sustains our life we give you the glory. Speak to us. Remove me from the sin. And Holy Spirit, by your love for the church, minister truth to your church and make me only your vessel. Thank you, my God, for an answered prayer. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. The Lord bless you. Please be seated. And then you can grab your Bible and your book. Look into the eyes of somebody. Tell the person that God bless you for loving Jesus. The way it rained. Oh, tell the person the way it rained. I wasn't expecting you here. I thought I was the only lover of Jesus. You have proved me wrong. 
but I want to tell you, I came earlier than you. So I'll be more blessed than you. Amen. Yeah, I give the Lord the best celebration. I will be very fast as we are ending our week of extreme light. And I believe that if not for anything, somebody has been touched one way or the other. Have you been blessed this week? And we have only this morning to crown it because this evening, by light, we will worship the Lord. And by light, we will give him praise, knowing very well that our destinies have been settled by the mystery of his light. So please pay particular attention as I sum up the whole message on light this morning. I believe that people will go back home illuminated. And, uh, I am speaking on the mystery of light. The mystery of light. Understanding the privilege that we have received in God by our unlimited access to his light. You realize that physically all things are sustained by light as a sign to us that the spiritual realm is also conveyed by this same mysterious element of light you know very well I yesterday I was moved quickly to want to know a little about the impact of light on earth that is why I realized that if the sun decides to go off. In three months time, every human being will die. And in the next four to five months, all bacteria will also go. That's how powerful light is, even in the physical realm. How that God has designed light to be life. Without light, do you know the day light goes off for days, plants will start dying because they need light for their photosynthesis. And all of humans depends on plants. So if they die, we will die. It's very important that we understand if God has placed so much value on light, even in the physical realm, then how much more? Is light important in the spiritual realm? We don't teach these things just to let people feel, okay, I'm getting another information onto my life. No, this is not another information. This is for you to realize something that you need to fully fulfill destiny. Everybody can live life but it is those with light that can fulfill the destiny that the Lord has given you. Otherwise, you will only exist. Existing is very easy. We can all decide to exist. But it takes light to fulfill destiny. And we have understood what light represents in the spirit. And we saw that light is a person. It's a person in himself. The Bible says, for God clothed himself in light. Psalm 104. God clothes himself in light. Let's read the verse 2 quickly, then I, I go on with other things. Psalm 104, verse number 2. I want the whole church to read. Can we read one to go? Who covered thyself with light as with a garden stretched out the heavens like a garment. So when you see God it's actually light you are seeing. The Bible says he covered himself with light. So there is no flesh in God. 
when you see God, you are seeing light. Am I here with the church at all? I'm laying this foundation before I start so you don't get confused. When we are talking about light, we are talking about God himself. Let me, let me calm down. We are talking about God himself. Coming in a form that can sustain men in existence. He clothed himself in light. You are clothed in flesh. God is clothed in light. So when Ezekiel chapter 1, when Ezekiel was describing the glory of God, he began to explain two things about God. And he said, he saw one on a throne. And he said the throne was like a safari stone. So God does not even sit on a throne made of wood. He does not sit on a throne made of any other element, but a throne made of a safari stone. There are three gemstones. We have the ruby, we have the safari, and we have the emerald. And God chooses to make his throne out of the safari stone. And this is how the safari stone looks like. It's something like a glass that reflects light. So, the safari stone naturally has a blue color. But depending on the light you project on it, then it changes into the color you are projecting. So God knows that he is in a multitude of lights. So he sits on an element that projects light. So that when you see him sitting, according to the light that is emanating from him, is the same color his throne will bear. Is somebody here? Please, you should know the scripture by now. Ezekiel chapter 1. Then he said he saw him as a light from up waist to up and waist to down. It's like the light of a rainbow. So God himself is composed of different lights with different colors like the rainbow. So there are times that God will decide to show up as red and his throne will reflect the red. There are times that he will show up as blue. His throne will reflect as blue. Why? Because he is light. He is light. And that light is a conveyor of his essence. That is who he is. When God wants to reveal his essence, he projects it through light. So whenever light is revealed, light carries a message from God. Am I here with the church at all? When God wants to dispense himself, he dispenses himself as light. One of the ways you should know that you are under attack is to think that you know what I'm teaching you. That is why you may be stagnant now. Humble your heart and listen to me. Humble. And your life may change forever. When God tells you I want to visit you, expect light. I'll repeat myself. That's why you must understand how light represents on earth. When God tells you, I want to visit you, it is light because it's an embodiment of light. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. There was nothing made that was made without him. He said the word was God. In him was life and the light became the light. No matter who Jesus is, the life of Jesus represented as light. It came forth as light. It is life in him. But when men saw it, they must see it as light. It will take light and revelation to access his life. It doesn't matter who Jesus is. Without revelation, you can never access certain dimensions of Jesus. The fact that you keep on saying media, the minimani, media, asana mekono, ni yemihiani se beka chemi se. No, there are levels in Jesus. 
you may never access until you lay hold of light. Let me show you a scripture that may help you. James chapter 1. Verse 17. James chapter 1. Verse number 17. Can we all read this common scripture? I want to go. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and cometh down from the Father of lights, in whom is no variableness, neither shadow of turning. Every good gift and perfect gift does not come from the father of judges, does not come from a judge. In God's realm of dispensing blessings, he dispenses as the father of light, the source of light. So anytime God wants to release a blessing on earth, he steps into his light and he conveys the blessing through light. So that as many that find him as a source of light, they are the ones that have access to the blessing. Father of lies doesn't mean he's giving birth to light. means he's the source of light. So until the light you carry is coming from him, the blessing you must carry can come from him. Uh, am I talking to a church here? Yes. It will take some of you a long time to understand this message, this week's message. Because, but that is what has brought us this far. And over time, we must usher some of you into a realm that you understand the mysteries of this kingdom. He gives good gifts and perfect gifts, but he has to step into his light to give it. When he had to die for you, he stepped into flesh. But if he has to give you gifts from heaven, he steps into light. You must understand. And he gives it as the father, the sources of light. So as many people who have their source of light from him are the ones that can receive a gift from him. So the question is, where is your light? From where did you get it? There is a conveyor of good gifts and perfect gifts from heaven. That conveyor is called light. Light. Light revelation truth exposure to knowledge having the privilege to access the reality of who God is that's light coming out of the place of this very throne room and having access to who he genuinely is per revelation and knowledge there were men who didn't miss destiny because of one light they received. They can't miss. John said, he that sent me said to me that he that cometh and you see the spirit from him, he is the one. Such a man was born into the world with an unfeigned conviction about what must be done of his ministry. So when Jesus came and he saw, he said that this one must increase for me to decrease. Why? Because I carry a light inside of me. And that light is the determinant of my destiny. Many of us are doing try and error. Many of us are living life as a gambling. Many of us are gaming in life. You don't know the future. You don't know what you have been called for. You don't have a message. You don't have a direction. You are just around waiting for tomorrow to happen to you. And if you want tomorrow to happen to you, it will happen to you. The problem is that you may not like it. Until you happen to tomorrow, tomorrow have a lot to happen to you. And anybody without light will be a victim of tomorrow. Anything else can happen. Did you see the revelation of this son of grace? Before the accident happened, he saw himself in blood following ambulance. That means that there will be problem, but you will survive. 
If you are in the ambulance, that is death. If you are following it, that is survivor. You survive. That is light. So that if doctor tells you 50 50, you remember the message. You can't be afraid. You can't be afraid. The mystery of light that must govern our day. Jesus showed up with light. Isaiah 61, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed. I can't miss it. I know my assignment. I know the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach, to proclaim liberty, to declare the acceptable year of the Lord. There is no missing. I'm not confused. From today, may the Lord receive a light that will let you stop being confused over your future. We cannot continue to be gambling, running after every human being that calls himself a prophet. What is God saying? God's light does not go to another person to get to you. He is the father of lights. Everybody who is light must pick a source from him. So this thing that you are looking for light from men, that is the confusion of your destiny. You must be able to present yourself until light is flooding all over your heart. I came to declare to somebody, from today, your destiny will not lack light. Your, I said, your destiny will not lack light. Your tomorrow will not lack light. Before tomorrow, the Lord will show you the light of tomorrow. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Somebody shout, I will not be confused. I have the light of life. In the name of Jesus. There are three realms that light can give you dominion over three realms Luke chapter 1 verse 76 to 79 and thou child shall be called the prophet of the highest talking about John for thou shalt go before the face of the Lord to prepare his ways 77 to give knowledge of salvation receive light or oh, receive light to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sin. See the way somebody's destiny is being defined. So beautiful. So John is not confused about his message. My message is to give knowledge of salvation unto his people by the remission of their sins. No confusion. 78. Through the tender mercy of our God, whereby the day spring from on high has visited us. Mm. to give light to them that is in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet into the way of peace to give light to them who are number one in darkness and number two in the shadow of death anytime light shows up darkness and death is defeated when God wants to give you victory over death, he supplies light. A level of revelation that no devil can take away from your heart. When any, listen, every sick, when God wants to let you live above sickness, he gives light. He wants to live above poverty, he gives light. He does not give stone, he does not give oil, he gives light. And when you receive enough and excess light, the light begins to reflect in your oil. Am I here with the church at all? Am I talking to somebody here? Anytime, listen, there is only one enemy of death. It's called light. When light shows up, death, unfruitfulness, unproductivity begins to flee. Wherever light is, fruitfulness is assured. Wherever light is, life is assured. This thing you are afraid of your life, seek light. Seek light. There are some of you, you know mathematics, you know geography, you know that. That is the light you need to get a job, but not the light you need to live. There is a way you can finish a degree in engineering. It will give you a job in engineering company. But to give you stature in the spirit realm, you need another light. Another light. 
So he said, you must understand the light your life is operating with. There is something that death can't stand. It is the light from the throne room of heaven. It doesn't matter the calamities happening in your father's house. One day God can land a light in your spirit that will settle the matter. From today, receive the light over the dread, the fears, the threats that is happening in your father's house. Receive light now! Receive light now! I don't care the economic crisis. I don't care the economic damages happening. I don't care the situation, the unfruitfulness, or the infertility of your ministry, of your church, of your business, of your family. The barrenness, there is an answer to the shadow of death. It is called light. The Lord is delivering light from today. I said the Lord is delivering light from today. Shall I receive light? Look at this. First Timothy 6, 16. First Timothy 6, 16. Let's confirm something there right now. First Timothy 6, 16. Who only has immortality? Speaking about Jesus. Who only has immortality? Dwelling in the light which no man can approach unto. Whom no man has seen nor can see. To whom be honor and power everlasting. Do you understand? Talking about Jesus says only him has immortality. Why? Because he dwells in light which no man can approach. So there are levels and degrees of light. And Jesus dwells in a realm where death can't approach. So he's immortal. So what actually guarantees immortality is light. It is no food that determines long life. It's light. For man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word, every light that proceeds out of God. Your destiny will receive light after today. Do you know that upon all our pursuit, there is a degree of light God will never give us. He will never give us. Because the day a man catches that light, he will live and not die. Immortality is connected to light. God, Jesus is immortal because he dwells in a light no man has can approach. That means there are decrees of light. So when God wants to make you 70 years on earth, he gives you a light that will sustain you for 70 years. The moment that light goes off, your funeral arrangement starts. <laughs> Mortality is in the absence of light. Immortality is in the presence of light. That is why you can't force people to walk in light because the dispenser of light is the father of light. <laughs> so he chooses to sometimes dispense a level of light. When God wants to shift you to a level of fruitfulness, of of uh, productivity, of life in itself, then he dispenses light. Then man begins to walk in dominion. I tell you, if you find a man who tells you me, I believe in Jesus, because of that, I don't go to hospital, sir. If you don't have his light, find a doctor. <laughs> find it. Most of the calamities of this kingdom is that we follow people without catching their light and we begin to try what they attempt and what they attempt and succeeded becomes our victimization and our calamity why because we didn't pursue the light they had before attempting the giant they attempted <laughs>